I keep getting comments asking me, how do I get this beautiful shading in my 3D workspace? Notice how my shit over here is blue. Right? And what you guys are probably working with looks something like this. Okay, it looks pretty shitty, right? So how do you change the shading on your 3D models as you're working? Not the textures, not the render, nothing. I'm going to show you. All right. The secret is that you go up here to this little menu called viewport shading. All right. And if you don't know, this is first of all where you can change a math gap, which in itself is a game changer if you don't know it. Okay. By default, your model has this ugly white shitty shading. Okay. But if you set this to a matte cap, it's going to change the color. It's going to change the lighting around the model. It's going to kind of change how everything looks. All right. And then you can click on this little ball and you can change it to anything else in your options over here. Okay. So for example, you can make it this shiny red. You can make it this kind of metallic or silver, whatever the fuck this is. All right. You can change it to anything that you have in here, whatever you like, you can do that. Whatever is most suitable for your particular case. For example, I like to use this one over here when I'm modeling cars or something, because on this op on this type of math cap, it's really easy to see imperfections in the mesh. Okay, and let me try to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, if we have a ball here, I'm gonna apply some subdivision to it. I'll make a tiny little dent on it or something like that. Then I'll apply some more subdivision, object shade smooth. It's very easy now to see how this light bends, and now you can very easily see that there's something going on over here. Okay. So now I would not be able to see this if I had this type of shading. It's a lot harder to see this type of shit. Okay. So that's an example of how I like to use math caps. But the beautiful shading that I get specific to my fucking channel and my content this is what I use in the ebook and this is what I use all the time. Okay. First of all, I use this gray math cap right here. But if you notice, it still looks kind of shitty. Okay. You still need to add some more things to this to make it look like what you see on my channel all the time. Right. So let's make a trend. What I'm about to show you. Everybody has to set their settings to exactly this. Okay, let's spread this shit like a tumor. Okay, I want to see everybody in Blender. Everybody watches my videos. This has to be your new fucking math cap. This has, has to be your new type of shading. At least something very similar. Okay, so first of all, in viewport shading, you're going to change your your math cap to this kind of what's it called ceramic dark. Okay, click on the ball first row number five. Okay, not this one. Not this one. It's number five. This kind of shiny one. Then here's where everything changes. Okay, you're going to go down here to this little box called cavity. And by default, you're going to get something like this. Okay, this is going to be on zero, it's going to look something like this. So when you check cavity, you have to set the type to both. All right. And then all these bars are going to be empty, but you want to crank that shit all the way up. All right. And now everything is going to look completely different because now it's like the edges and the crevices are shaded differently. Okay. Which makes them look kind of, I want to say cartoonish, but they just look better. And I don't know what, I don't know how you want to describe this shit. Okay. I just, it just looks cool. Okay. And then on top of that, you can also change the color of every single matte cap. By default, you just have like a white color or whatever the color of the matte cap is. That's like the default color. But if you go over here to single, you can now choose a color and you can make this anything you want, right? We can make this green, you can make it mint, you can make it purple. And I usually go with a dark kind of blue purplish kind of color like this. Okay. The color code for that is as you can see here, eight, two, six, B, E, seven, some, somewhere in that ballpark. Okay. I'm not going to tell you the exact fucking numbers. Don't, don't copy the exact numbers. That's not what I'm telling you to do, but just go to, uh, do something in this ballpark, something like this. Okay. And before you know it, your shading is going to look just as cool as mine. Now, the cool thing is you can also change to any other matte cap like this shiny red one. And you can give this any color that you want. Okay, this is also another one that you've seen in my videos. Although this is a lot darker, so it's kind of harder to work with this shit. Okay. And then you can also go to this the normals one, which looks totally different. You can go to a bunch of different shit and just experiment with what you can create. Maybe you can create something that's cooler than mine. If you do, let me know in the comments or let me know on Discord what you've created. And it's going to look, if it looks way cooler, maybe you convince me to change mine into that setting. Okay. And you guys probably also noticed that when I'm working with this shit, I like to set my grid scale to 0.1. Okay. It just makes everything look a little bit cooler and it's kind of easier to see what you have going on in your scene than this. Okay. Now I have big tiles. All right. I feel a bit more comfortable generally speaking when I'm working with a, a, a grid scale of 0 0.1. All right. And over here in your viewport overlays where I change the scale, you can also uncheck a bunch of different shit. For example, you can remove extras 
which is going to make your lights here invisible. So if you have a bunch of lights, this type of shit gets in the way, all right? If you have a bunch of other shit, extras is gonna toggle that. You can toggle the 3D cursor. You can toggle outline selected. So when you select shit, you can't even see that it's selected, all right? Relationship line when something is parent. You can toggle all this different shit, okay? You guys gotta explore with this type of shit, okay? And by the way, you can also activate a wireframe, all right? Check this down here. Set the opacity to wherever you want, and you can add wireframes to your objects, okay? So now as you're working, you can watch the wireframe of the object, which can make it a little bit easier to see what you're doing, okay? Now, once you've changed the math cap, you change the appearance of the mesh in your 3D scene, you're still going to have a problem, okay? Your problem is going to be that every time you finish working, you close Blender, you go to sleep, or you go to bang one out, or whatever it is you do when you're not using Blender, okay? You're going to create a new scene eventually when you come back, all right? And that new scene is going to have, again, the shitty white fucking color, okay? So what we're, what I'm going to show you now is how you can have that matte cap, that blue shit, okay? How you can have this every time you start a new scene, all right? It's very simple. Here's what you do, okay? I just started a new scene. I'm going to go over matte cap, cavity, uh, so give me a blue color and all this shit, right? And maybe just to prove my point, okay? Instead of having a default cube every time I start my scene, I want to start with a plane which is going to be one meter above the surface. And I don't want to have the camera or the default lamp in the scene when I start a new scene. I never need that shit. You can, why don't you delete the default cube? Nobody ever uses a default cube anyway, okay? While you're at it, you can also make a little vertical cut or something because maybe you like to work on two workspaces. So create the workspace that you would like to have when you first start your scene, okay? For example, we just set this coloring over here and maybe we lifted the plane and whatever, right? Do whatever it is you want to start with every time you start a new Blender file. And now all you have to do is go up here to File and then go to Defaults, Save Startup File. It's going to ask you OK and then you're just going to click OK. And then now it says down here, Startup File Saved. So now when you press Control N, you can see now we can fuck something up. We can add a cylinder or whatever. We can do this and like, ah, whatever. I'm sick of this Blender file. Control N, new file, general. Don't save nothing, okay? You're going to get the file that you had at the time when you clicked on this default save startup file shit, okay? So now you can save any settings, any properties that you made in Blender. You can move windows around. You can do whatever you want. You can change the background colors. You can change the gradients, you can change the grids, you can do all this different shit and you can make stuff look a lot cooler. You can have stuff more ready for your scene when you want to start doing something, okay? Anyway, I don't want to talk more about this shit. I just wanted to show you guys the shading. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next one.